Chinese President Xi Jinping held a virtual summit with French President Emmanuel Macron and the German Chancellor Angela Merkel on Monday. Both European leaders voiced their support for the China-EU Comprehensive Investment Agreement. China and the European Union wrapped up negotiations for the agreement at the end of last year. It was expected to go through legal auditing and be approved by each side. But the EU imposed sanctions on four Chinese officials and one entity in March over alleged human rights abuses in Xinjiang. After Beijing retaliated, imposing counter-sanctions of its own, the European Parliament voted to freeze the agreement until China lifts the sanctions. But the spokesperson for the Chinese Commerce Ministry, Gao Feng, says preparations for the signing of the agreement are ongoing and the economic ties of the two sides are still strong. The two sides are now conducting legal auditing and translation work for the agreement. The agreement fits the interests of both sides and benefits the entire world. Since the outbreak of the pandemic, trade between China and the EU has been increasing, and investments have been steadily rising. Also on the agenda at the news conference were the allegations of forced labor in Xinjiang's cotton industry, which recently sparked controversy in Europe and elsewhere. But at least one major Japanese company recently announced its decision to continue working with suppliers in the region. The parent company of the Japanese brand, Muji, recently said it will continue using cotton produced in Xinjiang as the company's investigation didn't find any violations of human rights in the cotton farms in Xinjiang. What do you have to say about this? Will Beijing limit companies which boycott cotton from Xinjiang? We have reiterated this multiple times. The so-called forced labor issue totally disobeys the facts. Individual countries operate through protectionism and bullying by using so-called human rights violations. This severely damages the international trade and economic order. We urge certain countries to immediately correct their actions. And we would like to continue supporting foreign companies to have trade and investment in Xinjiang. Gao confirmed that international organizations from certain industries and representatives from foreign companies will soon visit Xinjiang for an inspection. He said Beijing welcomes their trip.